This video is for internal demonstration purposes only. Cirex scans are normally always taken directly in the patient's mouth. We open a new patient and select a new restoration. In this case, it is a full crown on tooth 36 in biogeneric individual mode to be milled on the MCXL unit. We choose the Serona Blocks PC material, confirm with OK, and click the double arrows in the step menu. We are now in acquisition mode for the lower jaw. We commence scanning from distal on tooth 37 with overlapping scans forward to mesial. In the premolar area, we tilt the camera slightly buccal caudal to ensure we capture sufficient buccal facial surface for buccal bite registration. We scan the proximal contacts of the neighboring teeth so that any undercuts are also shown. This facilitates a better design of the interproximal area. We now check the model. Sometimes with real intraoral scans in the dorsal part of the mouth, it is advisable to remove the support from the camera to allow better maneuverability. On the upper jaw, we also begin scanning distally with overlapping exposures towards mesial. In the premolar area, we again tilt the camera slightly towards buccal to achieve good facial surfaces for easier matching of the buccal bite later on. We check this and then change to buccal bite acquisition. We now take one or two images in the area of the premolars and the canine. When satisfied, click the double arrows to go to the model calculation phase. The model is displayed together with the buccal impression. We drag it onto the lower jaw model and then we drag both parts onto the upper jaw model. Once they stitch together, click on the double arrows and draw the preparation margin. A double click on any position starts the process, and a double click on the same position completes it. Set manual points if needed with single clicks. Then we define the insertion axis, turning the model so that mesial is on the right and distal on the left. We confirm with OK and click Next. The biogeneric calculation is started. We check the initial proposal. This looks to be very good. We can now click and make the lower jaw model semi-transparent so that it is easier to assess the proximal contacts. We immediately see that they are also good. Now we superimpose the upper jaw and see that the restoration could be modified lingually. We choose the anatomical shape tool from the tool wheel and holding the lingual wall, simply drag it buccally so that the cusps are now in alignment. We optimize the cusp position, then view the entire restoration together with the semi-transparent upper jaw. We are now satisfied with the design and click Next in the Milling Preview, where the restoration is shown in the block. Here, we can again check or change the milling unit. We can choose the milling options, such as Fast Milling or Veneer Mode, that we naturally ignore in this case. We can also vary the block size and ultimately alter the position of the restoration within the block. We now superimpose the jaw model to better assess the color gradient. We also have a tool wheel and can rotate the restoration in the block. A right mouse click opens the tool wheel again and we drag the block until the color gradient meets our own particular preference. We now start the milling process. 
The software requests us to put the appropriate block into the milling unit. The message is also displayed on the milling unit itself. The milling process can be started with a click on Start or by pressing the Start button on the milling unit. The milling time is calculated and displayed. After the milling process is completed, it is confirmed with OK.